Hi, and welcome to another Apple Champ tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering iMovie 11. I'll begin by covering the user interface, and then I'll explain some basic editing, and then I'll move on to covering some more advanced editing, and then I'll show you the trailers feature, and then I'll show how to add chapters to your videos, and then lastly, I'll cover exporting your files. One of the first things that impressed me when I got my first Mac was the powerful software applications that came built in with my Mac. And iMovie was right at the top of that list. Usually you have to pay to get a really good video editing package and they don't usually come cheap. iMovie has since been moved to the Mac App Store. Let's just open that up. and you can purchase it for $15. It's a really small amount of money for such a powerful application. You can really edit anything from home videos to even small business videos with this package. It has some very good transitions and titles that you can add. It can handle full high definition video and even has some advanced tools that you can use which I'll show a little bit later in the tutorial. But to get started, let's just walk through the user interface that we have in front of us. And I'll just talk you through the different things we have. So starting in the top left, we have our project library. And basically this is where you'll create new projects and you will add video to these projects and the projects is what you'll edit and add transitions and titles to, to get your final video. So those are all displayed in your project library. And to create a new project, you can just come down and click on this little plus button. So I'll just select that and I'll type a name for my project. So let's say wedding. And I'll choose my aspect, ra aspect ratio, widescreen or standard. So I'll say widescreen. And I'll choose my frame rate. And you can choose to automatically add transition effects to the videos in your project if you want. And you can also choose a theme. So as you can see in this preview window, I can see the theme of my what my video will look like. We have comic book, we have sports themes, quite a nice variety, but I'm gonna say no theme. Well, actually, let me say photo album, seeing as it's a wedding. So I'll say that, and I'll say create. And now we have a new project titled wedding. So I can go in that project, and now it says to start a new project, select video or photos and drag them to this area. So this is the project window. Now in the bottom, we have our event library and our event window. Now events are the, the videos that you've imported to your Mac, the raw images that you've shot and now you wanna edit. So those are events. So when you import a new video, it'll be added to your events library. So in this case, you can see I have one called wedding. And then from here, I can just take the different shots that I want. I can click and drag in the event window and I can just drag my selection into my project. And in my project, you'll see the transitions been added. So this is where you can start editing the videos. Now there's this little button option here, the second button on the left which allows you to swap your events and projects around. So you'll see now my event library is at the top with my event window and my project library is at the bottom. So it really just comes down to personal preference. I prefer it the standard way. We also have the option in the bottom left hand corner to just hide our event library. So we can just view the event we have open and we can play our event in full screen or play our event from the beginning. So if I play in full screen, you'll see it starts playing full screen. However, if I just click this play button here, it just plays back in the playback window. And that's the last item I wanted to show you, is your playback window. And this will preview anything that you have. So if I'm playing back my event, it'll play back here. If I'm playing back my project, it'll play back here. So this is your playback window for everything. 
Then in the middle, we have sort of like a toolbar. The first option we have is the, the camera import window. So if you select this, you will it'll open up a window showing you all the media you have on the camera you have connected to your Mac. And you'll be able to check the different items and click import. Then as I've already showed you, you this next button allows you to swap your project and events libraries around. And then we also have the option to zoom in or zoom out of our video files in the thumbnails. Then we have the option to, if you have selected video in your event, you can just click this button and it'll add your selected video to your project. And then we have some ratings, so you can mark this video as favorite, you can unmark it, or you can reject the video. So if I reject it, it'll be removed from my library. Then we have an option to record a voiceover. So perhaps you've filmed a project for school or for business, but you want to add your own voice to it at a later stage. You can record it directly from within iMovie and then add it to your video and align the audio with your video how you need. And align the audio to your video as you need. And then we have the option to crop our video. So we have basic cropping. I can just choose the, the area that I want and click done. And then you'll see now my video has been cropped to that size. You can always come back and undo it. So I can just drag it up. Done. And then we have the inspector, which basically brings up a bunch of information on the different videos that you have selected or the audio. But I'll show that a little bit later in the tutorial. Then we have a little option to disable or enable audio skimming. So if I drag across this video, you'll hear the audio. But if I click this button, then now there's no audio as I skim through the video. And then lastly, we have some media browsers. We can browse for music. So it will show we can browse our iTunes library for all the music we have and we can add that music to our videos. We can browse our photo library, browse Aperture or iPhoto. Then we have titles, so we can we can add a whole variety of built-in titles to our videos simply by just clicking and dragging to your project. There we see it's added. Then we have transitions. Basically, this is different transition effects between two different videos. So if I add this cross zoom and I play it back. Well, let's do this. Let me just split this quickly. Split clip. And add cross zoom. And I'll play that back. There you see the cross zoom. And then we can also add some maps and backgrounds. So just different map transitions and fun animated effects that you can add to give your video a little bit more life. And then lastly, we have full screen mode, which doesn't really change anything. As you can see, it pretty much has all the controls exactly where they were before. You still have access to your menu bar if you scroll to the top but it just gives you a little bit of extra use of your screen so that you've got a bit of a bigger working canvas.